Good morning. I've been making iced lattes at home because I've been spending so much money on coffee out. And so I bought these cups from Amazon. I'll have them linked below. And I just figured out how to make the perfect iced latte at home. I'll show you in the vlog. It just hits in this cup. If this was in another cup, it just wouldn't hit the same. But like, this is a perfect cup for a giant latte. Cheers. It is Friday, so it's almost the weekend. I am working from home today and my parents get here at around like 4.30. They are coming to Miami because we're actually doing a family vacation to Europe and I'm so excited. I'm going to London and Paris and I went to London last summer for the first time in years. The first time I went to London, I was in fifth grade and then I hadn't been back until last year and it literally became one of my favorite cities. I did go to London during the heat wave last year. So it was like 90 degrees and sunny. And even though it was really hot, it was just nice that it was like warm and sunny and everyone was outside and it was so lively. And everyone that I met there was like, this is not normal by the way. Like it's usually rainy, it's usually colder, it's a little more gray but I just fell in love with it and maybe it was because it was sunny and warm, but I just thought it was such an amazing city and so I'm so excited to go back this year. And I haven't been to Paris since my junior year of college. So I went to Paris in fifth grade. We did that like London Paris trip um, when I was really little with my parents. And then I went for my junior year spring break. At that point I was already vlogging. So I think I have let me look. Do I have my like Paris vlogs? Oh my god, yeah. I still have my Paris vlogs. I should watch those. Those were so much fun. I vlogged like every single day there. And I remember my friend lost her passport. We got stuck in an elevator. We had so many like random little adventures together and i'm gonna rewatch them because i think it's gonna be really really fun to do um but paris is one of my favorite cities in the world like it's so magical it's so romantic i know some people don't like paris and i've been on that side of tiktok that's like oh paris is like so gross and dirty and yada 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 but I also love New York City and people say the same thing about New York. I just think it's the energy, it's the vibe, it's so romantic. I think Parisian architecture is the prettiest architecture in the world. Like the buildings there are just so beautiful. I love the Eiffel Tower. Like I just, I think it's so magical. And so I'm so excited to go back. I will be vlogging. So I never really vlog with my family, but I definitely want to vlog this trip. So. I'll be doing that. I'm sitting here. I have a bunch of work I need to do also today. So gonna try to get that done. And then I'm going to plan our Europe trip because I don't know the roles in your family, but at least for me, no one in my family is a planner, including myself. But like my mom is always like, we need to plan. Hello, can you get on that? But she's not gonna do it. So I have to be the one that does it. And I'm also not a planner. Like out of my friend groups, I'm like the least planned person um but in my family if that shows you how like not of a planning family my family is i am the most planned person so it's on me to plan the trip there's six of us so i we do need to make like reservations for food and restaurants and things to do because it's not like we can just like walk into a, a popular restaurant and be like table for six at prime time and even now like we're going on monday and it's friday like i probably should have done this a week ago but i've just had so much stuff going on that i haven't been able to so i'm gonna have to do that later today also and then i'm going to new york at the end of the summer and the end of august for two weeks um to just meet with a bunch of like creators investors network and i'm really really excited for that let's get to work Who let me have blonde hair? I do not, I'm not a blonde. Someone tell her. Someone tell her. I look like a little baby. I look so little. I look so much better with dark hair. Why did I go blonde? Why did we as a collective, all of us brunette girls, why did we all go blonde? We look so much prettier with our natural dark hair. Like who told us that we should go blonde? You guys know I love to do a little skin check. So you saw me this whole video without any makeup on, but my skin has gotten so much more clear, you guys. I'm so happy. I feel like I finally found 
what works for me and it's just honestly like very clean very simple products and another thing that i think a lot of people don't contribute to skin issues is their hair products so i'm really excited because i'm partnering with scene their hair products are created by a harvard trained dermatologist and i think a lot of people just don't link hair care with skin care but you guys i am always like this like this is my natural hair my hair is not always tucked behind my ears and so my all of this area is interacting with my hair which means that the products that you use really do matter and so that's why even with my hair care I've been choosing the cleanest ingredients which is why I'm excited to partner with scene all of their products were tested on skin and hair so that you know it's safe and it's not gonna cause you to break out and all of their ingredients will not clog your pores I don't know how to say this word the non comedogenic <laughs> It's clinically not gonna clog your pores. Magic Serum causes 81% less breakage. This is a clinical study, 81% less breakage, which is so nice. And so I'm about to quickly just like do the air wrap on my hair just to give it like a little bit of zhuzh and a little bit of volume. But I wanna make sure that I am protected. I'm going to put this Magic Serum on my hair. I just do two to like five drops, usually like three drops in my hair and start one two three four five okay and i just focus it on the ends of my hair and what i like about this serum is that it doesn't make it greasy but it makes your hair not frizzy which is such a big deal here in miami because you literally step outside and you walk into just like moisture like it has been so humid here like you walk outside into like thick thick air like and it's not gonna make me break out which i was always so worried about when i would put other oils in my hair because i swear i break out over like my cheeks and like this side of my face the most so i had to be really careful with it and you can get 15 percent off using my code natalieb15 and click on the link in the description this is the outfit i quickly just added like a little bit of volume in my hair but very casual look and I need to run and pick up my parents because then we're going to a showing and we're already late. And I was like, I can't be late. And now I think I'm going to be the late one. So got to go. My friend just ordered me this shirt. It's so funny. Or not me. It's she ordered it for herself. We joke around that we're just like single. I had a friend get engaged this week. Uh, she literally called me today and showed me her ring. And I was like, oh my God. So she got engaged. Very happy for her love them and then my other friend just had a baby this week and me and my friends here in miami were like and we're single Just aside i actually really do enjoy being single i haven't been single in quite some time as you guys know so it was a much needed singleness but it's been about a year now and it's just like funny um and <laughs> my friend i she lives in brickle and she like always does her like morning brickle walks which is this one area here in miami and she's like natalie you need to move here because there's like such cute guys all the time and she literally gets stopped all the time guys asking her out and it's like normal men it's not like creepy cat callers or anything like that it's like guys coming up to her and being like hey i think you're like really cute you look nice like i'd love to get to know you i'd love to like go out and like i'm not kidding this happens multiple times a week for her sometimes even multiple times a day for example she texted me in the morning and she was like what the heck a guy just rolled down his window while i was on my walk and he like was in scrubs he was like a doctor or in med school or something and he was going to work and he's like i'm going to work i never do this but like i just wanted to say that i think you're so beautiful and like i'd love to get your number and text you later random man random doctor man so she gave him his number later that day she told me that and then later that day she, me and her were on the phone and she's on the phone with me and i hear a guy go excuse me excuse me my i don't want to keep my friends waiting but I just think you're super pretty and like i would love to get your number if you don't have a boyfriend i'm on the phone with her i'm witnessing this and obviously she's like very beautiful so like that's going to happen but apparently brickle is where the men are oh long story short she just sent me um a shirt that she's going to that she made it's a picture of me on the front it says single and loyal with my instagram username and then a picture of me on, on the back 
um, and with my Instagram username, and we'll see if I meet my husband that way. <laughs> she ordered herself one and our friend Gigi one, so Gigi can get, you know, her area where she lives too. So I really love this for me, and I'll keep you updated if this is a successful way for me to meet a man. I think it's so funny. <laughs> Ignore my outfit, I'm wearing my workout clothes under my sweats. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make my iced coffee from home. So good. I'm just gonna use the same cup as earlier and I'm gonna fill it with ice. I use this oat milk. It's oat malt. It only has oats, water, and I think a little bit of salt. And I just fill up my cup, the milk. And if someone's like, oh my god, do you want some coffee with that milk? I'm making a latte, which means espresso with milk not just like coffee, it's espresso with milk. You need a lot of milk. A cube of brown sugar, just one cube, Whole Foods or something, just one little tiny cube of brown sugar. I'll put it in my coffee cup, the cube. Take my cup, and I actually usually hit this one, but I don't need that much coffee right now, so I'm just gonna do a single shot instead of a double. These are the beans that I use, the Dawn Floor. They're from my friend's coffee shop, Bernie Bean. Um, it's the best coffee you will ever have. It's specialty coffee and you can order it online. So I'm just gonna fill my coffee maker with beans, then hit the one shot. And I take this and I just pour it in. I usually do a double shot, so it definitely tastes a little stronger, but it's still so good. It's the next morning and I'm headed to the beach. My family's in town, so I'm gonna take them to Soho House. Uh, I'm wearing this bathing suit that I got from Revolve. I think it's really, really cute. And it's funny, cause like whenever I'm with my family, um, I always feel like I need to wear, you know, my like family friendly bathing suits. So I feel like I don't have any more living here in Miami because everything is just like so cheeky. Um, so this is the one that I'm going with. It's really, really cute though. This bag is so cute. I got it sent to me um, from a brand that invited me on a boat and then I wasn't able to go on the boat. I felt so bad, but it has my name on it, which I think is so cute. And I have a facial later today. So I'm just gonna pack a change of clothes. I'll shower at Soho and then I'll head to my facial. So let's go. Sunday, you guys. Yesterday was a very chill day. I went to the beach. I got a facial. I went to the mall. Um, my skin is looking so good. I don't have any makeup on right now, and I feel so confident to go out like this, which is really nice. This morning, it's Sunday morning, and I usually go to church on Sunday mornings, but because my family is in town, um, I decided to skip it, and I'll just like watch online later. I usually like to watch because tomorrow I have a really long flight, so I'll save the service so I can watch it on the flight. Like if I, that's like a good hour that I can spend watching that prickle right now because me and my friend Catherine are gonna do a hot yoga class. I haven't done yoga in so long. Actually, I did yoga maybe like two months ago, but before then I hadn't done it in so long. And I'm just really excited because it's core power and it's the sculpt class because I'm not the biggest yoga fan like just plain yoga it needs to be hot it needs to be like incorporating weights it has to have like something else to it so I'm doing the hot yoga sculpt class and I'm really excited I've never done it here in Miami but I have done core power before and then we're gonna go on a little hot girl walk so I'm gonna go around Brickle Key walk along and this is my friend who made the shirts so she doesn't have them yet and I will never be wearing she will never be wearing those shirts when I am with her because that's just embarrassing but I think it's very funny um we'll probably get some coffee afterwards and just walk and yeah it's just like a very nice Sunday morning <laughs> wash my face but it is 10 o'clock on sunday night and i have not packed yet for europe tomorrow and i'm also going to north carolina right afterwards so i am going to be gone for pretty much three weeks so 
I really need to pack um, and I went to the mall today I went to go shopping just to get a few things and I had a $500 gift card that I got from doing this like video shoot um, a few months ago and I was like I'm gonna use this as my shopping haul money so I spent the gift card at the mall um, well worth it I think I got a lot of really cute things and things that I normally wouldn't purchase like I have never bought anything from reformation before but i was like because i have this gift card i'm gonna spend money at reformation so i got a few things there i got a few things at abercrombie and zara and they're all like really really cute so i'll show you guys what i got um but i wanted to talk about weight gain i know i've touched on this before but like i have been gaining weight and i think it's from working out because i actually think my body looks better than it did before and i've said this before i really like the way that my body looks i'm gaining muscle i have a strong core i actually have a butt like i am happy with how i look but i think it's one thing being happy with how you look and still struggling because my clothes don't fit me or i'm like trying the clothes that i like my previous size at stores so it's just struggle when you're like trying things on and then you have to like you're trying things on that used to fit you and they literally won't zip or it won't close or you're just like noticing that you're bigger and it's not even a bad thing like i don't think weight gain should be a bad thing but this is the first time i've been wearing the same size for like i'm not kidding like 10 years like i have been pretty much wearing the same size since freshman year of college and the fact that now i am having to size up it just like it's such a weird feeling and it's it, it's not even like i don't like the way i look it's just like i don't know i feel like i'm like just more mindful of it and when i'm trying things on and things don't fit me it doesn't feel great i don't know just like discouraged um when shopping but i found things that are my size i think it just it's like that acceptance of being like stop trying to fit into a size zero stop trying to fit into a size 25 that is not your size anymore size up and yeah i don't know if anyone else feels that way let me know i got a lot of cute things and am i i am excited for europe but i'm kind of dreading trying on all my stuff because like i said trying on stuff does not make me feel the best right now so yeah that's where i'm at <laughs> 